A woman traveling on an American Airlines flight with a stop in Phoenix has now been placed on an internal refuse list after an incident that took place with one of the American Airlines employees. I'm going to break it down, guys. Before I go any further, if you enjoy my daily content I provide for you here on YouTube, I encourage you, help support my ministry over on Patreon. You can do so for as little as just $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link in the description. You're going to get access to all my bonus content. Talk a lot more about sensitive information there. We get around the YouTube sensors. You always get the alerts and notifications for anything that posts to Patreon. Unlike YouTube, you're not going to get all my alerts and notifications. you got to browse my channel on a regular basis so you don't miss anything. And trust me, you've missed a ton of content. So when you get done watching this video, browse back the channel. We'll see what it is that you missed. Now, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, let's talk about the incident that took place here with this pastor by the name of Yolanda Yarbrough. Now, she had a flight from Los Angeles with a stop in Phoenix that was eventually going to take her to her final destination in Las Vegas. Now, as she got into Phoenix, this was about 8.30 in the morning, Sky Harbor Airport, she gets out, she gets off the plane, she starts talking to one of the employees there uh, for American Airlines. And they said that, you know what, we're sorry, but we're not going to allow you to be able to continue on with your destination to Las Vegas because she refused to wear a face mask on your first flight from LA to Phoenix. And so American Airlines apparently tried to get her to put a mask on, you know, during her time on the flight from LA to Phoenix, but she would not do so. Uh, she would not comply with that whatsoever. Uh, and my question was, you know, why did they even allow her to travel from LA to Phoenix then in the first place? Because I know American Airlines policy is that basically all of their passengers must, you know, be required to wear a mask. And if they don't, well, then they might not be able to board or possibly be banned from future travel. But for whatever reason, they let her, you know, go ahead and, and move on over to Phoenix. And then they tell her that you can't go now from Phoenix to Vegas, which I thought was kind of funny, basically leaving her stuck. She probably would have been better off just maybe not even leaving LA in the first place. So I found that kind of interesting. But then as she's talking to this American Airlines employee and they're telling her, this guy is telling her, sorry, man, you're not going to be able to go on because you broke the rules. She then hits the guy in the face over the dispute because they would not let her go on to Vegas. The police were then called. The woman was arrested. And like I said, she's now been placed on this internal refuse list for any future travel with American Airlines. Uh, so, uh, crazy situation here. Like I said, now she's even being, you know, they're investigating further uh, into assault charges with this, uh, which is exactly what it was. I mean, it's exactly what she did. She, she, you know, she hit this guy in the face. You know, he didn't suffer any injuries or anything like that. I mean, you also have to wear a mask inside Sky Harbor Airport. I mean, where don't you, you know, where don't you have to wear a mask these days? Uh, so it's crazy. I, and I don't support the masks and I talk about that all the time. But as far as, uh, you know, smacking people around in the face and stuff probably isn't going to help your cause very much. I mean, the last thing you want uh, is to then have to deal with a charge like this, get arrested. Um, it's just not worth it. But again, I find it funny how they let her originally go from LA to Phoenix. Okay. Then leave her stuck in Phoenix. And then you wonder like, what is she going to do? Even if she didn't hit this guy, I, I would have found it, you know, pretty interesting to see what she would have done at that point. So here she is stuck in the middle of the two, you know, her original destination, her original place where she was going to her destination in Vegas. And uh, that did not happen. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe you've done some traveling recently, been on a flight. Maybe they've uh, required you to wear a mask. Maybe you have a story to share. Uh, if so, feel free to leave it down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each every single one of you, and I'll talk to you soon.